Nihoma, Malo Elele, distinguished officials, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the National Legislative Assembly of Tonga, I wish to extend my warmest greetings to you all from the Kingdom of Tonga. Please allow me to congratulate the Executive Committee for the excellent organization of this International Islands Tourism Conference and for the opening of this remarkable event. Earlier this year, in February, I had the privilege of heading a delegation from Tonga that visited your beautiful Shosan city. The main purpose of this trip was to promote and explore trade and investment cooperations and opportunities between our two countries. Recent research tell me that there are approximately 1.61.9 uh, million overseas Chinese tourists in the first half of 2015. Tonga would very much welcome to share of the Chinese tourist market. I hope that conferences such as this would encourage a fraction of those outbound tourists to visit the Kingdom of Tonga. I'm fully aware of the barriers that exist for Chinese tourists who are interested in visiting Tonga. We are working towards removing those barriers, thereby facilitating easier access to the Kingdom. But ladies and gentlemen, despite the existing barriers, I can proudly say that Tonga offers a multitude of attractions. We are the only surviving monarchy in the Pacific with a proud legacy of never having been colonized. We are a people rooted in culture and traditions, and this is something both Tongans and Chinese share. You can learn from us and we can learn from you. And together we can focus on building one belt, one road, and I'm positive everyone will reap its benefits. The scattering of 170 beautiful small islands <coughs> of our archipelago offers something for every tourist, from water sports and marine activities, to hiking and trekking, to special Sundays where nothing is opened except churches where you can hear glorious singings and eat delicious Tongan cuisine. Tonga has been blessed with a tropical climate and the Chinese tourists can breathe fresh air, see clear blue skies and feel warm sunshine throughout the year. Ladies and gentlemen, the famous English Sea explorer Captain James Cook named Tonga as the Friendly Islands because of the hospitality, warmth and friendliness of the Tongan people. Today, any Chinese tourists visiting will arrive as a visitor but will live as a good friend of Tonga, taking back wonderful memories to cherish for a lifetime. I wish you all a very successful conference and I do hope and look forward to meeting you here in the Kingdom of Tonga. Ofadu Shei Shei, Lord Tuvaganot.